the whole paragraph or a number of paragraphs can also be formatted so that your document is more suitable for the audience that is intended to view it or to use it. Now if you want more space on your word processing window, you can go up there besides the office button. You click a drop down menu, then minimize ribbon. You have more space to use. Then if you go back, you can tick again or uncheck on the minimize ribbon. Under paragraph formatting, there's some paragraph marks. The paragraph group of the home tab. You can click the paragraph mark. It shows you wherever enter has been pressed. Shows you the spaces. So you can be able to remove these paragraph marks by toggling again or clicking again on the paragraph mark tool. So just pressing enter. That's a hard paragraph mark. But shift and enter. That's a soft paragraph mark different if you check here. It's a soft line break. It's different from the hard line break. Using the tab key here on the far end of your keyboard there's a tab key which if you press on it then there's indenting. You would have indented your paragraph then using your ruler here you can go straight to the ruler and click then drag so that you can control your indentings now alignment sign cry here if you check under paragraph it's left aligned would send align it, write align, justify, and all the different types of alignment. Rather than consecutively pressing space bar, it will be difficult to format the document later. But if you do it properly, then it's easy to format the document. Line spacing. If I select the paragraph, if I check on the paragraph group, it's one space, and put it on double spacing. That's changing the line spacing. Now, when you're typing or pressing enter. Sometimes there's uh, additional space because it's a hard line break. You can add space, remove space of the paragraph. Just when someone is typing an address, the line should be a paragraph, not to stand on their own. Separate it by space. You remove that space by going to the spacing options. Let's say this was a list. Then want to put some bullets. Go up there. Under paragraph. Or you select type of bullets first. That looks nice. Then you may want specific numbering. Get exactly the numbering type that you want. Bulleting and numbering for itemizing your 
point. Now, having selected this paragraph, I may want to put a border there. There's the icon for that. Select the type of border, outside borders. Some additional settings on borders and shading. If there is a word in there, you may want to replace it, like the word sigh. You may want to replace it with the word cron. So that's under editing. Then find. Let's find and replace. Replace all or replace one or the so it's groan and cry, groan and cry rather than sigh and cry. Everything has changed. But this find and replace should be used with extra caution. Because if you don't do so you may replace by mistake. For example, the word smoldering is the word older inside it. Then if you replace every occurrence of the word older with the word young, it means the smoldering will be distorted. So you may need to back up your document before replacing or you have some kind of check. Now, tabs. Using your ruler, there's first line indent. If you move it, still to leave there. Paste technique and get hanging indent. left indent. If you double click then you have your tabs. You can change the settings for the left indention and all that. Then through experimenting you will see how wonderful this program is. You have to force it to do what you want. Not to be forced by the program. You can use Control Z for undo. Now the styles, for example, every title or first line may have a uniform style, like heading one. If it is a project, for example, so there's uniformity, which shows the level of headings, heading one, heading two, and so forth. also other formattings or you can clear the formatting if you no longer want it so that's in your hands text is just in your hands when you have this program at your disposal now just move on to page formatting too. because if I go here start and under print there I choose print view You can see the type of document that I have here. It's portrait from top to bottom. That's how it looks like. But you may want to print it differently. And page layout, orientation, this landscape. If you check your print view again, now landscape. It's 
no longer portrait. So the margins also under page layout or print view, you can see there are margins there which you can change. If you change them, there's some effect. The white space that is left here can be different. Increase or narrow the margin or make it normal. Also, the page breaks, the line breaks, wherever you want them. Page break, I can set a page break. I double click, it changes. Headers and footers are very important, they are just in the margins there. You can find them under insert header, the type of header that you want. So the header appears on each and every page of your document. And the footer, except you change the settings. So the same thing you insert footer also. Footer is at the bottom of the page, head at the top of the page inside the margin. So if you double click there you can edit. If you double click in the document, then you can edit the main page leave the header or footer now we put some numbering all these pages are numbered but you can put the first page where you insert a cover page because you don't have a page number it goes page number one without page numbering so under insert then you get your cover page there Choose the cover page that you want. It becomes the first page automatically, especially for a project or some document of a professional nature. Then you just be typing in the template that you are given there to suit your needs. Then hyphenation, put some hyphens. You have a long sentence like here. Computing department would have been featured here, but it was automatic wrapping to the next line. But if I change under page layout, I choose hyphenation. I go to automatic. You can see that department has been featured here with an hyphen. Then I can remove. I finish it, put none there. There's automatic wrapping taking place. Now, I can also be able to insert a table in the document. I can select the rows and columns that I want. Or insert table, then I have to type in the number of rows and number of columns. Then if I right click anywhere in the table, I can go and insert columns to the right, columns to the left, rows above, rows below. And also right click and delete rows. Right click, delete cells. Then you choose the entire row shift cells and all that you have to be flexible what you want to do so you should know what you want to do delete the whole column that's the entire column entire row and or some specific cells you can be able to merge cells if I right click here after selecting merge it becomes one cell so flexible Then change if I go just uh, on the boundaries there of the rows or column I can also drag 
hold down the button and move then I change the width so I can change the row height change the column width then also you can change some colors and all that borders and shadings you know there shouldn't be any problem with it borders and shadings and go under shading you want the color there it works like that a nice art And the borders and shadings again. You can change some styles. You can change the width. The thickness there. Of the light. So there are quite a number of things that you can do by right clicking. Using your menus and all that. Was table if you go up there there's table tools on the title bar where you can quickly change these things draw table you can have some more flexible way of changing your table it becomes more complex because you're using draw table the erasers there if you want to correct anything so nice click on eraser again it's deactivated in the if you press the tab key, you can see you can jump from one cell to another. Then press shift and tab. That's the opposite. In the opposite direction. Now it's not just tables that are inserted. Some people may want to insert some graphics. You can insert clip art. Insert some shapes, smart art, or a chart, or a picture from file. Picture from file. That's a picture that has been inserted in the document. So insert ready pictures. I'll go to clip art where you can search. Want to search about academic or school? Type in the type of picture that you want. And go insert. You can just drag. No, that's flexible when you use your mouse. Insert, drag, right click. And all that there was options you open your eyes you'll be able to see what you really want so you have your graphics if you right click there's cut there's copy there's also paste and all that resizing drag the handlers here. change the size if you go to Formatting here or picture tools, there's text wrapping. If it is behind text, it means that picture is more flexible now, it can be moved around. It can be moved around easily if it is behind text or in front of text. It becomes more flexible. You can resize it, move it around, and all that or on top of each other if you right click send or 
same backward it means the bus is now in front right click format feature is brightness contrast fill and all that where you can just change all those things so that you have your picture the way you want it exactly if you experiment with these things you will enjoy using microsoft word graphics and you have more professional document more informative more multimedia more interesting and convincing some shapes can also be inserted into your document. Just flowchart symbols, arrows, text boxes where you can type in. That's your insert menu. So if you click on a graphic, then press the delete key on the keyboard. It's deleted. Or right click and use cut. It also disappears. So it doesn't need to annoy you when you want to remove to do away with these graphics. So insert menu again. Insert a chart where or smart art where you can have hierarchy there. There's the director on top. Then you have manager. Also, we have here another important is the core manager. So they are working together as managers and so forth and the support and it's going down like that. Organogram or a structure chart or organizational chart for those who will be working on projects doing business studies and administration. So there's also a way to add which you can insert stylish. You can easily drag it. It's so flexible this way to add. With that truth, text wrapping, pen text becomes so flexible again. You can move it around. No need to worry anymore. Double click, right click, and all that. Double click with that truth. You can make some changes. Change the shape. you and all that then you experiment with that you see how it works and rotate by holding this handle you can rotate 